in between these two is the life that you live. And every time you want to take on something new, you're going to come up against your upper limit. When things start to fall apart, you're never going to fall below your baseline. This is how it works. This is what is going on. And so this is why when I say things like you have a roadblock, you have something holding you back. Seriously, you do. It's your upper limit. And your upper limit is different than somebody else's. You've got to know what your upper limit is because you're going to keep hitting it. The very first year I went out in business on my own, I hit my upper limit and I didn't even know it. You know how I finally figured it out? Because I ran the numbers at the end of the year to see what my total was, my earnings for the year. And you're never going to believe it. My earnings for the year working on my own were the same as the amount of money I had brought home when I had a salaried position. It was my upper limit. It was what I was familiar with, what my body knew. I was comfortable. So without me learning how to intentionally work on raising my limits, I just recreated for myself where my ceiling was, my cap on what I could earn. You can change your upper limit. You can move it so much higher. You can even raise your baseline so you stop allowing yourself to have a minimum that is so low. You can raise what your minimum is that you need to survive and to live on so you can start to flourish in a bigger way. You just have to do it consciously, on purpose. And far too many of us are living life not on purpose. We're just letting unconscious, unaware, uncontrolled, unrestricted, Thoughts lead the way. And most of the time they're negative and they're definitely restricted within the upper limit and the baseline. So if you want different results, if you want to have a different something in your life, raise your baseline, raise your upper limit, move on up, up here in your mind and in here how you feel it. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. And it's coming from what you believe inside of yourself, what your body is already pre-programmed to know. And so you've got to address it there at the root. We find that emotional root, we identify it, and then that's how you can, like weeding, pull it out. Get rid of it and plant something new. You can create more, but first you have to go in and identify what that emotional trigger is because it's related right here to your baseline or to your upper limit. This is the work we're gonna do together during our four hour live workshop. This is done with you because I'm not just teaching you how to do this. I am working through it with you and we are unpacking and trying to find and locate that root. This is what you need to know and understand at a deeper level so that you can finally move forward.